There's a feature film produced by the LDS Church that um, is called The Testaments. And yesterday, out of nowhere, um, I had just attended a funeral uh, for the father of a friend. And um, they didn't say anything about this movie, but I, I left that funeral. And scenes from that show, from that film, came into my mind, and um, I thought about the, um, there's a father who has been waiting all his life to see the coming of the Messiah, and his son has decided to uh, leave the family to take a more uh, more worldly path uh, and the dad's kind of mad about it you know um, and sad mad like a dad could be um, and then it comes a part where the um, as in scripture there's a sign of Christ's death and big destruction and fire and earthquakes and all these things the father knows that the that his son is in danger um, and goes out to look for him and uh, even as he could feel betrayed you know by his son for leaving and uh, he it doesn't matter obviously it's his son and he goes and looks for him and he saves him uh, pulls him out of a dangerous place and takes him out into the hills for safety until the storm passes. Um, as they get out of the city, a tree falls and and hits them. In the morning, the son's looking for his dad, finds him, and then finds out that his his dad is blind, who was left blind by the being struck by that branch the night prior. So um, he. Life goes on. His father's blind. They're starting to reconstruct their uh, city. And this is based, you know, 2,000 years ago, an ancient uh, indigenous city. And and then Christ comes uh, to visit the people in the Americas. And uh, in this film, uh, based out of, off of the... Um, account in the Book of Mormon and Christ descends from heaven um, and starts you know uh, greeting the people and showing them the scars in his hands and and uh, the son sees this and he runs back to where his blind dad is sitting um, back at home and he says you know dad the Messiah is here and um, he gets all excited and, and under the arm of, <laughs> here's my arm, uh, the arm of his son, he starts, uh, they, they run towards the, you know, uh, center of town to see the Messiah or to be there even though his dad is blind. And they're trying to get close, get a good seat or just get somewhere where they can get close and and the blind father just asks the son, what, are you, what, what can you see? Describe everything to me. Please tell me everything that's happening. And the son says, he's a magnificent father. You can tell he really is the son of God. Uh, he's blessing the children. And then the son turns to his dad and uh, with tears in his eyes says, Gosh, Dad, I, um, it's all my fault because of me. I mean, you've been waiting to see the Messiah your entire life. And because of me, you can't. You're blind and you can't see him and leap for joy. And his father says, um, just knowing that you can see him is good enough for me. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, you hear this powerful voice 
call the dad um, by name. It says Helam. And he puts his and it's the Savior, and he stretches forth his hands and puts his thumbs on, on the eyes of the closed eyelids of the blind father, Helam. Calls him by name, touches his face, and Helam's surprised that, uh, with his eyes closed, that is his, um, he knows exactly, he recognizes the voice, a voice he's never heard before. And he recognizes who it is, and just starts to weep. And, uh, and rest his face in the hands of the Savior. Um, and then you can see his his eyes. Um, uh, the camera gets to an angle as if it was his eyes, and, and he opens his eyes, and all he can see is the Savior's face with the sky behind looking up, you know. Um, and... I thought about all this yesterday um, while driving, and and I started to weep in the car. Um, and I just watched it tonight <laughs> with the family because I, um, kind of like a song you, it's in your head. You got to listen to it to to satisfy. <laughs> um, and I weeped again tonight, um, and it. It wasn't so much for Helam that I was weeping. Um, it was more for uh, for myself that I I can't even imagine resting my face in the hands of my Savior. Um, because it's hard to forgive yourself of your sins and your mistakes and all the things that you still don't have worked out and you still mess up and uh, uh, I can't imagine my uh, his hands being around my head um, holding me all I know is that if that uh, ever happens I, I just don't know how I'll even feel worthy of it um And how blessed I would feel. Um, but I, I do have a hope that I can be forgiven of my sins. And the reason I have this hope is because I'm a dad. We just had our second child, our little girl now. And we have our boy and our girl. 20 months and 7 weeks. 20 months for the boy, so weeks for the girl. And um, they say that the family is the best way to understand the gospel, having a family. And I'll tell you one principle of why that's true is because when you're holding, when I'm hold, when I hold my son on my lap and I look at him, he could be behaving, misbehaving. Um, I would forgive him in a heartbeat. He can be going against that which I have commanded him, and I, I'm not like God at all. <laughs> I, but I am in the sense, from a father to a son, just as our Heavenly Father, um, I am his son. And I have to believe that when I look at my son's face, I would hug him and forgive him of anything in the entire world that my Father in Heaven would do the same for me. Um, he would hold me. And it's not so much about the commandment that was broken or uh, sin that was committed. It's about becoming someone new. Um, and what's happened and any bad thing or any sin that's occurred yeah that's in the past for me and towards my son and I believe from God towards me um, he cares more about me becoming uh, 
the fullest version of myself. And that's all I want for my son too. Um, I don't know if this is me just talking out loud or if this is me bearing my testimony <laughs> or if um, um, I didn't really have a goal starting this video. I just, I had feelings I wanted to express, perhaps document for, to uh, look back and watch at a later date, but um, I believe Christ is real. I don't have all the evidence, but I, I believe he is, and I want to believe he is. And uh, that he loves me and everyone, every person on this planet. And uh, that's all.